You may have noticed that your car insurance premiums are rising this year. Yeah, along with interest rates and everything else, it's another price hike we can blame on inflation. And this morning, consumer reporter Susan Hogan is working for you with more ways to help you save money. In 2020, you might have received a rebate from your car insurance company because almost no one was driving. Remember that? Well, things certainly have changed and inflation is hitting us from all sides. So now the cost of owning a car is going up. According to new data, the average rate increase is 4.9 percent. Everyone's kind of back out on the roads. And what insurance companies have found is one, uh, you know, so there's more accidents, more people are driving. To replacing those vehicles, if you have to replace the entire vehicle, whether it's a used vehicle or a new vehicle, those have obviously gotten much more expensive over the course of the last 18 months. And car parts and labor have also gone up due to inflation. However, there are still ways you can save. If your credit score recently improved, it is worth the trouble to shop around for new insurance quotes. That's because your credit score has a pretty big impact on your rate. And if you haven't called your current insurer lately, do it. There may be discounts you're entitled to that have not been applied. And if you don't mind having your driving behavior if you're tracked, consider something called usage-based insurance. This is a type of insurance that bases the policy's cost on how safe your driving habits are. The data is collected by your car and analyzed by the insurer to determine whether you're entitled to a good driver discount. And if you're wondering when rates will go down, don't hold your breath. And I'm not sure that that's something that's going to really stop until, um, you know, at least over the course, I would imagine the next six months or so, you'll, you'll keep seeing premiums go up around that rate. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.